this is a great week for our missionaries because we are going to have one of our own, Christina, with us. Yay! Hello. <laughs> say hi to? <laughs> um, hello, mom and dad and everyone else who I know. <laughs> So Christina is an RUF missionary in Michigan, in Ann Arbor, at the University of Michigan. And so take it away. Tell us about what you're doing and how your ministry is going. Sure. Yes. Thank you. Um, I would say it's going well. I think as with many parts of life these days, we were unsure what things would look like heading into the fall semester. Um, this is my first year on staff uh, at with RUF at Michigan and only their second year being on campus. So lots of things still up in the air. And then of course, of course with COVID, um, we weren't sure what everything would look like, but been pleasantly surprised at what all we've been able to do. Um, some students have been in town for both semesters, some just for the fall and now we're home in the winter. So lots of virtual things, of course. Um, uh, but yeah, I've been pleasantly surprised with how it's been able to go. Um, I think back to, the summer when I was just getting started and the ministry was still very new and I was like what who are who are we gonna meet how do we find anyone um and my role as intern is mostly working with freshman girls in particular and I didn't know where they were gonna turn up but <laughs> through <laughs> connections and friends of friends and cousins and word of mouth um we've been able to get a good group um to consistently be a part of that community this year, which has been really encouraging. Um, and obviously it's been a large growing experience for me that I've really appreciated and been challenged by in a good way. Um, as the students are a lot of fun, but also are going through all of their own things as are all of you. But yes, very much have enjoyed being here this year and uh, <laughs> look forward to whatever is to come <laughs> and all the unknowns that that entails. <laughs> are, you able to meet, are you able to meet at all with them one-on-one -on -one or in person? Yes, great question. So yeah, day-to-day, -day, the things we're able to do. Um, yes, a lot of one-on-one -on -one things, a lot of walks while the weather's nice, um, grabbing coffee, whatever else. So I meet with uh, a lot of girls one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then we also have had life groups which is kind of our version of Bible studies this whole year. Um, and the way we've done that is having virtual options and in-person options. Um, and since those have been assigned smaller groups, smaller numbers of people, um, it's been easier to find ways to creatively meet in person when they're able to. So last semester, we, all those groups went through Galatians. This semester, we're going through the book of Jonah. Um, so that's been a nice weekly way for students to get to know one another. And then we've also been able to do smattering of fun social events. Um, at the beginning of this semester, when it was nice and cold out, we did a um, scavenger hunt of sorts <laughs> around town to see what like pair of people in a car could visit the most parks in Ann Arbor, because Ann Arbor has a ridiculous number of town parks. So you had to drive around and take pictures and yada yada. So we've been able to get creative and do some COVID safe activities, which has been very fun. Um, and then just this semester, we've been able to do a weekly or bi-weekly large group worship service because um, the oh, church allowed us to use their sanctuary. Yes. Yeah. So we've done that every other week. Um, we've been able to do some music and everything else. So. Oh, so uh, kind of a normal in a way. Yeah. Getting close to that. Obviously, you know, masks the whole the whole yard, whole nine yards. Um, but yeah, so that would that would fall under the category of I've been pleasantly surprised that we've been able to do as much as we have been, in some ways. Yes, and we've been able to have students um, watch that via Zoom and then be able to have their own kind of breakout discussion time afterwards. So that's been really cool too. Neat. Um, so tell us uh, what your favorite thing to do is in your spare time. Oh, okay. Oh, let's see about that. Um, because a lot of my job is very involved with people, which I very much enjoy when I do have time off, I tend to do some more uh, low-key solo activities. I like to do art, um, doodling various things. When possible, I like to get outside and play sports, especially like basketball. Those opportunities have been somewhat few and far between because of COVID. <laughs> um, but yes, reading occasionally. Catering? 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Reading occasionally. Occasionally. Well, <laughs> you work as a caterer. Yes, it's a solo operation, but I just <laughs> do it for the love of food. <laughs> I enjoy eating food. I enjoy eating food. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what do you miss most about Blacksburg? Oh boy. Well, besides my family. Um <laughs> <laughs> I miss I miss there being mountains around my part of Michigan most parts of Michigan are pretty flat um, I was very excited to discover one of the many parks of Ann Arbor that is a set of trails kind of in the woods that is somewhat hilly so I've been going there a lot and reminiscing about <laughs> areas around Blacksburg so yes I miss the mountains I also miss um, the ease of finding parking not that it's oh. easy everywhere in Blacksburg, but <laughs> I have to it's pay easier than there, huh? So you're in the city, right? In the city, right? I would say it's it's definitely more of a city than Blacksburg is. Mm -hmm. I would say it's it's right on the edge of town and city. And tell us about your apartment and kind of where you live. Sure. Yes, um, I'm living in a house, a little, uh, I think, over a hundred year old house. Um, kind of a kind of a you know, a college, a college type house, but living with two other girls, um, one of whom is in grad school at uh, the med school here, and the other is a transfer student to Michigan. So it's been nice that all of us are somewhat on kind of the academic calendar, academic schedule. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so a little three bedroom house right on Main Street, very exciting. I, uh, this is the first time basically ever in my life that I've been in charge of shoveling the sidewalk. So that was fun. <laughs> I helped. I helped at home, but it wasn't my sole responsibility. <laughs> you might get um, called on that one. Of you. I know. I know. Maybe I should have been doing it more than I was. I don't know. <laughs> um, and so what's the most fun thing you do there and the most challenging thing you do? Sure. Um, I think most fun thing with students, at least, is whenever we are able to do um, some larger group activities because, um, yeah, just brings a, a different energy and it's fun to see people who I've spent time with one-on-one -on -one become friends with one another. That's very exciting. Sometimes I try and match make friends, but I don't think that they really love that very much. So when it happens organically, that's very exciting. <laughs> um, we were able to use the, um, the canoes. So my campus minister, um, their garage, they cleared out, they put their patio furniture in there and they put a bunch of space heaters in there. So we were able to have <laughs> a game night in there with the garage door open so there's you know air circulation and students seem to really enjoy that so that was definitely a highlight from this semester um challenging thing I think for me is um it is probably the one-on-one -on -one interactions with students also very rewarding very much enjoy it but it's always just so hard to know either it's hard to sometimes get students to talk about things, um, which makes sense. Need to get to know somebody first. Um, so that can be hard when you're first meeting with somebody and then further down the line, if they are starting to open up more about difficult things that they're going through or questions about Bible or whatever else, then it's hard to talk about those things sometimes. Yeah. So very rewarding, enjoy doing it, but also definitely challenging. Oh, oh, cool job. Well, I wanna read, uh, something you wrote, and then you can just say what comes to your mind after I read it. Okay. In your first uh, letter where you wrote this one, okay? Yes. I was reading it over again tonight. Yeah. And it says, as I grow in this role and get to know students, I pray that in every interaction, they will experience more of the grace and love of God, Some, something so critical to college when faced with uncertainty about the times we live in, in our, in our identity, our worthiness, and our place in the world. Very still, still very relevant. Yes, yes. Oh, I have forgotten about that sheet. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been, uh, I think, <laughs> very much still a need. Um, I think as I've gotten to know students more and their stories more specifically, um, I think especially at a school like Michigan that is very academically competitive, a lot of the students I meet with are coming from a high school experience where they were very much top of their class, very high achieving, um, found their identity in being the best at whatever else. And so as I experienced, as a lot of people experience when you go to college, you realize the world's a bigger place than you thought it was, um, which can be really exciting, but also really scary. 
And um, yeah, so I hope I hope that I have been able to to show that grace and that um, assurance that I think we can all have in our relationship with God, knowing that our identity isn't in what we do. It's not in how productive we are. It's not in grades, obviously, or even in um, how many friends we have. I have a lot of conversations with students about how hard it is to make friends, especially now <laughs> during COVID. Um, a new experience for me was um, getting to know some students who were going through the sorority rush process. Mm -hmm. They didn't have that at my school, um, but led to a lot of really good conversations about how do you process going through an experience where you have to be judged on so many things and you're also having to judge other people. And even if it can be done in a friendly understanding way, just like what does that do in your heart when you're rejected repeatedly by many people who you don't even know and all those sorts of things. So yeah, I think the theme of that definitely has proven to be true and I've been able to see different specific manifestations of that need maybe. That's really neat. Well, can you tell us two things to pray for you about? Four more if you want to, but please okay. two. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure we can we can scrounge up two. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I think um, first thing that comes to mind because I was writing up an email about it today. Um, so we have a ministry team, which is a subset of students who sign up to meet weekly to talk about how things are going in RUF, um, planning new events, but also just trying to sort of build a core culture maybe within the group. Um, it's somewhat flexible and big, which is why it's hard to describe, but um, we're just starting to invite freshmen, excuse me, um, we're so just starting to invite freshmen to think about joining for next year. So would appreciate prayer for the growing of that group. Um, hoping to get another eight or so students, which I think we will have. Um, so yes, formation of next round of ministry team. Um, something else that comes to mind would be um, for our students who are completely remote. I, there's probably about five girls who I'm in touch with regularly who are home for this whole semester, another two or three who I hear from occasionally. Um, and there's a whole wide range of how they're feeling about that, but they've just really been on my heart recently. Thinking back to my own time in college and what they've said to me, their you know, expectations of, of school where you make memories and have friends and do new things. And instead they're kind of repeating the end of their senior year in a lot of ways, which I know is just so hard. So ministry team, students who are at home. Um, and then I think just for me personally, I've now been in Ann Arbor for almost two years, two years this summer. And in a lot of ways, feeling much more comfortable here, obviously, than when I first moved. But in a lot of ways, I still feel like I'm settling in and trying to get to know people and get plugged in at my local church and all that good stuff. So meeting people in your local church that you want to be friends with, right? That was when you're in your last note letter or something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I feel like I, I sort of. There's potential in various corners. And then again, just because of COVID have felt like have been able to really dive in with people. Um, but thankful that there are people who I feel like I've begun, begun to connect with well. Good, so we can pray for that. All right, well, thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much. Right.